So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends. I'd like to begin by saying on behalf of my wife and I. I'd like to quickly take you all back to the beginning and how we first met. Some of you know already, but for those who don't, it all started back in 2013 with a nervous hello, a very romantic location, the photocopier room at the Holiday Inn Filter. <laughs> Being the highly respected manager in the hotel that she was at the time, she didn't want to be seen dead dating a room service boy like me. <laughs> So she conveniently waited until I started working in the gym. <laughs> Good things come to those who wait though, and in the end my patience paid off. All that was needed was a first date to Nando's and a game of mini golf, and the rest they say is history. It's a very funny thing because I thought I was ready for this, and there's not really any words I can say how I felt to be able to walk you down that aisle, Rachel, and give you away. There's no words for it to give you away to Alex. Yeah? I, it was, it's something, unless you experience, you, you just don't know. They say you don't marry someone you can live with, you marry someone you can't live without. We've had an amazing journey so far. Two and a half years ago, you gave me the most beautiful daughter I could ever have wished for. <sighs> the five days we spent in hospital after she was born brought us closer than ever before, and I'll never forget how strong you were. <laughs> Thanks, Millie. <laughs> Ever since then, you've been the perfect mum to Millie and you truly are the heartbeat of our little family and I can never thank you enough. I love you, I couldn't be more proud to call you my wife and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. So ladies and gentlemen, please can I invite you to stand and raise a toast to my new wife, Rachel. Rachel. <laughs> 